Welcome to Good Causes for Africa with Hervé Burgley. Today, Good Causes for Africa has the honor to present to you an incredible artist, Charles Guess. It's my pleasure to have you today on Good Causes for man. Africa. It's good to, Welcome. I uh, heard a lot about you and uh, see your art, see everything you are doing. So i like to know a little bit about your biography. Mm -hmm. I've been painting now for maybe 25 years. I started in New York City and Let's see, 86. Okay. Earlier we saw uh, one of uh, your pieces uh, in the White House. Hmm. Maddie and Michael Lawson, they uh, are very big collectors of my, of my work. Okay. And, um, and they were also doing a lot of fundraising for Barack Obama when he was in the Senate. And you're a goodwill ambassador of a country called the Gambia. That's right. I love the how Gambia. Did you, how did you become a goodwill ambassador? Um, we have mutual friend or acquaintance with the president of the Gambia. Okay. And, um, and I had no idea. I totally had forgotten the fact that Alex Haley exactly. had done all of his research in the Kunta Kente, the roots in the Gambia. Okay. So that was divine intervention there. I mean, I was invited to the Gambia okay. uh, for the Independence Day last okay. year. That's yes, yes. And uh, the president, Yaya Jame, was bringing um, people from all over yes. to help celebrate the independence yeah, of the Gambia from the British. Okay. And so he um, saw my, my cotton series and he sent for me uh, to come to the Gambia. Yes. I didn't believe it at first. Yes. But then I was standing here in my studio here and there's a ticket to the Gambia <laughs> and I was like oh my god you know I was like really floored man and um, <clears throat> and so what happened was I, I didn't want to go there empty-handed yes see. you know so I created a painting of him a portrait of him that I okay. can give to him as a gift as a gift yes. to just say thank you so much man, exactly. because I had never been to Africa this was oh, my first, first time. time wow yeah, and it happened that it was just this great little country. Yes. And so, um, voila, got there to this country, man. It was just absolutely... First impression. My first impression? <laughs> Brother, I can't even tell you my first impression. <laughs> it was just like, I want you to imagine. I can't, yeah. sorry, I can't speak to the people about it, but I can try to invite you. And so... Uh, there I am in the Gambia. That was the first time. The first, first time, of, yes. The first of three times. And uh, when was it? February. February, okay. Mm -hmm. Last year, 2010. Yes, I was visiting schools. Okay. Seeing, uh, you know... The country, the, yeah, everything, yes. Just experiencing it. And uh, they took me over to uh, Jufri, where okay. uh, Alex Haley did his research and found his family. Okay. Kunta Kente. Yes, yeah, so I went over to, uh, you know, this island. The island, yes. Mm -hmm. A village of Jufri. Okay. And then I went over to, uh, took a little boat ride, which was about 10 minutes or so, okay. in a small boat. Yes, a small boat, yes. And you know, going over there, mm -hmm. you see, I had the painting, I took one of my paintings. Yes, there. with you, yes. Yeah. And the butterfly was following me on the boat. Oh. Just next to me, just mm -hmm. here. It was really unbelievable. Because sometimes in our lives, when we feel the power of of God working through us, we're out of ourselves. Okay. We step out of ourselves and it's not about us. Yes. And that's exactly how I felt when I went, they took me in this dungeon. I okay. said, Something's got, I've got to do something. Mm -hmm. You know, I've got to change something. And how did you feel when uh, you suggested to the president to change the name of the Well, I would, like I said, I was outside of myself. I felt like new. That, perhaps that's what that butterfly was totally signifying. Yeah, exactly, yes. Because I was like, I don't know who Chaz is. Because yes. <laughs> I, you know, I, I came out the, the dungeon place. I walked up the stair, the little rocky stairs, and I said, this is no longer James Island. This will be Kunta Kente Island. Okay. And the thing that was puzzling to me is that didn't cross the, mind the of minds of the of people the living people in Jufere or whatever. This. Maybe they just felt they didn't have the power. And uh, I, I uh, relayed uh, the story to him, and uh, the next day in the newspaper, uh, it was in the newspaper, that this one uh, crazy artist uh, from America, <laughs> he wants to change the name of our, our island, right? America. <laughs> so, exactly. <laughs> I got to get busier now. It's true. <laughs> you know, so, 
my head, man, I can concoct this thing whereby, okay, not only do I want to change the name of the island, mm -hmm. <laughs> but now I'm seeing, I want to see a 30-foot bronze. Okay, 30-foot bronze. Bronze of Kunta Kinte throwing the shackles into the Gambian River and reaching up to freedom. Okay. You know, to reaching up to the heavens exactly. to experience a higher evolution of life. Okay. And um, and him evolving, emerging mm -hmm. out of the roots okay. of a baobab tree. Okay. And um, and so I came back and I started this with the clay and the yes. modeling this thing. I wanted to be like the the Statue of Liberty. Okay. That's why I wanted to be that big. 